talking about uh, the two ingredients in marijuana that make it medically valuable, which are uh, cannabinoids known as THC and CBD. And I told you about how CBD um, stops the progression of MS and can help regain the control of your limbs. Uh, I ended talking about chemotherapy. Chemotherapy is a uh, therapy that comes from mustard gas and was discovered in World War I. The horrible effects that had that killed our soldiers were proven to be medical, medically valuable if you took out one of the chlorine molecules by killing off your path that cancer takes to travel throughout your body, which also kills a lot of good things in your body and is horribly painful and sometimes not even successful in taking it. That's why I don't consider it a viable, viable treatment for cancer. THC, the psychoactive ingredient in uh, marijuana that actually makes you feel high, that is the one that treats cancer. And it has been proven in several different um, clinical trials to kill types of tumors and cancer on its own without help from anything else. Not to mention it aids in chemotherapy, making it not as harsh on your body, and it can pre prevent tumors from growing and stop them from growing if you don't even know that you have cancer. Um, the last thing that uh, cannabinoids help treat is Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's is a disease that is really a mystery to uh, doctors still because we don't know what causes it. But we know what causes it to progress, which is these proteins being released into your brain. And we have no um, clinical or FDA approved treatment to stop this from happening. But THC is proven to stop that from occurring, which means if you have Alzheimer's, it doesn't progress, so you don't lose a lot of your memory as quickly. And it can also prevent Alzheimer's from ever happening. So those are the uh, three main, most studied ways that different cannabinoids can help the sick Hoosiers in Indiana. But there's a lot more that I can't really talk about. It treats AIDS, it treats all kinds of different diseases, even the common cold that we don't have a cure for. So I ask you to go to a website called mpp.org, which is the um, Medical Progression Project, and you can send a letter to Indiana's legislators saying that you want them to change the laws in Indiana than to demand reform saying that we want to join the other 23 states that have legalized medical cannabis. Right now there are three bills up that are being voted on. Um, one of them is about using cannabinoids to treat epilepsy in Indiana in children, and two of them are in relation to MS and cancer. So I ask that you take some time to go and help improve the livelihood of Indiana's residents. Very good.